Welcome to Tammyocity. I'm Tammy. I have this really big bird cage. I've had it for years and I've always had this neon flamingo in it. Flingo, flamingos are kind of my jam. So I just thought it was kind of clever that it still has a bird in the bird cage. Anyways, I was ready to do something different with it. And this is my inspiration. I want to put a chandelier in it. So I took it outside, got it all cleaned up with the pressure washer. I wish I had taken a picture of the chandelier before I took it apart, but it was inside this drum shade. I took it out of the drum shade, took everything out of, off of it, and then I cleaned everything up in hot soapy water. And here it is inside the birdcage. This was as far as I could get because I'm not mechanically inclined and I did not want to wire this up myself. So I got this far and my man, he had plans the night that I got this far. He didn't get home until it was too late to do anything with it. And I tell you, it was sitting in my kitchen waiting for him to wire it up and I couldn't sleep. I was so excited for this project. I couldn't sleep and it wasn't wired. It wasn't ready for me. I still had to wait another 24 hours. So this is my ruggedly good looking man who is mechanically inclined and he did wire the bird cage for me the next night, 24 hours later. It was torture waiting on that to happen, but here it is in the bird cage and the chandelier is all put together. It's plugged into the wall and it's ready for me to add more. Of course, I'm not just going to stop at a chandelier in a bird cage. It needs more than that. And luckily, I have a wedding venue where brides leave their flowers for me all the time. I have got so many of these flowers, I could probably make three more of these bird cages. So look at all the flowers. I have that pretty little vintage box back there that the flowers are all dripping out of. And I have these gorgeous crystal vases that fit right inside what is supposed to be the bird food, bird food holder and the bird water holder. So that's what it fits in and they're just kind of fluted so they, they rest inside those little holders. It turned out so gorgeous, you guys. I can't stop looking at it. Um, I actually wanted to have a dimmer light bulb in it. I did buy LED 25 watt and the 25 watt bulb is actually as bright as a 40 watt standard bulb, a bulb that's not LED. It's really bright. I wish I had a standard 25 watt bulb because it's kind of almost too bright. But it also at night when the light is on, it creates these beautiful shadows in the room. It's just gorgeous. I love all the flowers. Uh, my worry is that with all those flowers and I have four, four big beasts running around my house, that it's just going to be dust and dog hair on the flowers and it's going to be a pain in the butt to dust. But look at it. It's gorgeous. I can't even stand it. I just love how it looks. It really fits the vibe that I'm doing in the living room. I'm kind of doing a makeover in the living room. I want everything to be farmhouse plus vintage. I want to see things that I would see in my grandparents' house. And I actually have a lot of things that did belong to my grandparents. So it just fits right in. I hope you guys like this project. I hope you like it as much as I do. Please like and subscribe. Blah. That's what I meant. Like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. And I can't wait to show you my next project.